It's our first day in Prague and we're about to meet uh, a local named Kate and she's going to take us to some of her favorite places in the city and along the way she's going to show us some really helpful tips for our stay in Prague. So when you come to Prague, you're going to be an expert. Yeah! Let's go! Annually about 2 million people come here to visit this beautiful place in the center of the Prague Castle. There is a St. Vitus Cathedral and it is one of the most beautiful and most sacrificed places in Prague and in the whole Czech Republic. The most tourists come here from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. So my tip is to come here before the tourist group so you can admire the whole complex alone. We're going into the Prague Castle now with a bunch of tourist groups because we are late. <laughs> Kirby, our in-house cathedral enthusiast, how does this stack up? Honestly, it's a it's a beautiful cathedral inside and out. Um, the stained glass inside is amazing. It's so intricate, some of the most beautiful I've ever seen. The gold on the outside is stunning. Must stop, I would have to say. Yeah. I'm very glad to hear it. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Now we are entering one of the oldest wine yards in Prague. The Czech Republic is not only the country of beer, but also a country of wine. And I recommend you to try white Czech wine. It's very good. So what's the best way to get around the city? I recommend you to go around the city by foot, because Prague is not so big. But we also have the best public transportation system in the whole Europe. <laughs> European cities, anyone want to argue? <laughs> As a minimum, three days. But uh, I'm living here for four years and I haven't seen uh, all the places to visit. So <laughs> it's everything new for me, every day. If someone only has one day, what are the things that they should see? So I recommend you to start from this Sadek Monastery. It's situated on the top of the hill. And then you are going down, visiting Prague Castle, and then Old Town Square with the astronomical clock, of course, Charles Bridge, and then you can finish your tour on the Wenceslas Square. What's your favorite part about living here? I like the whole atmosphere of Prague, and I love the culture here because there are a lot of concerts, events, festivals, so you can find something new for you every day. So Prague is perfectly situated in the center of Europe, so you can go to Germany or Austria or Slovakia or Poland. Such cities as uh, Berlin or Vienna or Bratislava, it's like perfect for one day. Now we are walking to Uprince restaurant, one of the most popular restaurants in Prague, with a good view. We call this rapid fire question time. What is the tipping culture like here? So there is no typical culture like about this. You can live about 10% from the whole bill. Is it rude to not tip? It's not rude, but it's polite to tip something. <laughs> <laughs> and is Prague credit card friendly? Yeah, quite much. So what area of the city would you recommend that tourists stay in? Prague is divided into several districts, so the most popular places to stay in for tourists uh, are Prague 1 and Prague 2, because it's a city center and it's very comfortable to walk by foot around it. Yeah. Would you say that most people in the city speak English? So in the touristic center people speak English, especially in restaurants or hotels or something like this. Most of the younger speak English too. There are two types of dinner, like just beer, <laughs> beer or soft snacks, yeah, or beer or some food. So for food or for drinks, they can stay in a bar or in the restaurant for hours. It's normal. Is it true that beer is cheaper than water here? Yeah, <laughs> than water and cola and coffee. <laughs> What's your favorite food here? Uh, my favorite food is meat, because all Czech food is about meat. And my favorite is duck, like this baked or fried duck with red cabbage is absolutely must to try. And what about the sunset? Where is the best place to watch the sunset? 
as for the sunset, you need to go uh, that way and uh, yeah, <laughs> that way. The Riagrovi Sadi or Riagrovi Gardens, it's also the favorite place for the young people towards the sunset to play music, to sing or to make a picnic. So where do you go in the city when you want a little peace and quiet? Uh, one of my favorite places is Streletsky Ostrov or Streletsky Island. It's situated in the center of the river and it's a very quiet and beautiful place to have a rest or to have a picnic. So what would you say is the most underrated place in the city? Mm, no, that's the other parts of the city except the city center. Other parts of Prague are also very beautiful. For example, Naplavka, where we are going to visit uh, the next, and Vyshegrad and some gardens around the city. So here the beginning of my favorite place, it is called Naplavka. Let's go to check it out. It's an embankment, it's a very, very popular place among uh, young people because there are a lot of bars and restaurants and uh, you can go there to chat with friends uh, or to have a uh, glass of wine or something like that. And it's very uh, atmospherical. Can you tell us about Golden Autumn? So the Golden Autumn one of the most favorite uh, seasons for the locals and tourists. It starts about the middle of October and lasts just for two weeks. And the leaves are turning into gold or red or yellow color. So it's a very wonderful time to come to visit Prague. My favorite season in Prague is uh, late spring because uh, all Prague is blooming. Of course, winter is also very good because of Christmas markets. So where would you recommend we go that we didn't get to go today? So I recommend you to visit uh, Vyshegrad Fortress and also you should go to gardens, to museums, galleries and spend your time in a classic music concert in Prague. So thank you for spending a day with me and I hope you enjoy your trip to Prague.